I'm flying, flying. Look at me way up high, suddenly here am I, I'm flying. You try and you'll fall flat on your face. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It is December 5th, 2014. I'm Jeffrey G, and this, of course, is the Dutchman. Dutch. He's the co-host. He's the one that built the set. Everything made me in the holiday spirit. Uh, if you want a holiday Christmas card or a holiday card, email me at jeffreytgiordano at gmail.com or Facebook me or LinkedIn me or whatever. But the first one's going out to Miss Pia Hayes, number one fan. Or number two, I don't know, Pia. Meg Fox is pretty up there. Um, but happy Friday to everybody. And happy holidays. I'm excited. I'm in a great mood. Want to know why? Because last night I watched um, my childhood video that I watched like, growing up, Peter Pan. Um, but last night they did it live on NBC with a new cast. Um, it gave justice. It was great. It was just as good as uh, Mary Martin's. That's the first one I watched growing up with Mary Martin. I was like four. I watched it till like age eight. I know every word, every song. No, no more. I won't sing it. Um, then Kathy Rigby came out with one, and I wasn't too thrilled with that. And then this one, awesome. So. Go uh, Hulu it or Google it or YouTube it and watch it. Anyway, it's a great job. Um, like, I would watch that show, I mean, that Broadway play of Mary Martin and Peter Pan probably five times a day, eight days a week. Not seven, eight, gotcha. Eight's my favorite number. Eight's my favorite number. Um, I was so busy yesterday doing, like, nothing, it seems. You know, I did laundry, cleaned the house. I got my uh, holiday cards in the envelopes. I returned a dress. I'm trying to send them out as soon as possible because I'm excited about them. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Had to do errands, pick up food, pick up dog food. All right, I'm not going to bore you with my life. But, uh, yeah, my lawyer called me, uh, yesterday morning, and I was like, hello? Is this, is this Adam Barron? Is this you calling me? You're calling me? I couldn't believe it. I wanted to record it. But, um, no news. So, he said Monday we'll definitely have some news. Yay! Um... Perry is gay. I just want to let you know he is not. He is many things. He is a director, an actor, and producer. And now, a father! Uh, to his longtime girlfriend, he had a baby boy named Joy Amon. So congratulations, Tyler Perry. He's not gay. People thought that, I think, because he did a lot of Medea, which I think is hilarious. She is my idol, even though she's fictional. So I don't know if I'm going to be in Fashion Police a uh, week after next, because I don't think I made the deadline, because I was busy doing other things. Not good. Hopefully I'll get in. Hopefully I'll get in. Think positive. Positive thoughts. I'm in such a great mood on a Friday, and it's my Monday. Uh, yesterday, Miley Cyrus was with Arnold Schwarzenegger's son. I don't know his name. Um, and the paparazzi caught them on a balcony smoking weed. And there was pictures. Pictures everywhere. I'm sure it's like breaking news. But um, we're in Miami. And I guess this is like a party, party like capital. Anyways, Joy Maganello also bought Sofia Vergara. A ring. So we'll see when he proposes. If he proposes. Um, 
I forgot yesterday's question of the day, so I can't answer it for you. But today's question is, what is the funniest or most horrifying holiday moment you have? And I know mine, and it is hilarious, people think. Um, and I'll share that with you on Monday, and I won't forget, I promise. Um, and also, um, they showed a video of Tracy Morgan six months after his, you know, almost deathly car accident with a 16-foot wheeler, or whatever you call them, big trucks. Uh, he had to learn how to, re to talk, re-walk, and he's doing it every day, and he's still in rehab six months later. So my heart goes out to him and his family and over the holiday season. Um... Got the top 10 holiday health hazards to avoid. Number 10, Christmas tree fires. Believe it or not, over 400 residential um, houses catch on fire every year due to Christmas trees. Nine, opening gift horrors. You can't open the box, so you stab yourself. You're trying to open it with a razor blade, you cut yourself. 6,000 people go to the ER every year because of that. Um, eight seasonal car accidents. If you live in Florida and you drive in the snow, you might get an accident. But if you live in Florida and drive, you're probably getting an accident anyways. So, seven, we gain, I'll lose it, six, sleep problems. Five, uh, decorating outside um, and falling or having an injury. 5,000 people go to the ER for that a year. Four, stress. Three, shopping. I'm like, shopping? Carrying too many bags can hurt your back and neck. Uh, two, choking. This is very true because I remember my grandfather when he was alive at 86 years old choking out a piece of steak and my dad doing the Heimlich. And I remember like one Christmas I was choking on celery and he bashed it out of me. So thanks, Dad. I'm still alive. And number one, food poisoning. All right, we got to go over time, but I wanted to do some quotes. It always seems impossible until it is done. The world is better because you are in it. Thank you for being a friend. And I know someone's going to think this is really cool. Overthinking kills magic. You know who you are. Uh, shout out to Mick. Meg Fox, Richie, Pia Hayes, Jess D, Mao G, Facebook, LinkedIn, everybody, we love you. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you on Monday. Oh, we'll see you on Monday.